now 7.30, it's time to call up the two-meter portion of the Rack City Net. We meet here every uh, Sunday at 7.30 on the 14511 Bristol, New York repeater. The purpose of the net is to build friendship and dedication to all amateur radio operators. Calls are taken in order of their check-in. Once checked in, you can go directly to any station already logged in the net by saying recheck and net control lets you make your call. Also, if you have any questions or comments uh, for the net, you can recheck and do so at any time. We are also taking traffic if you're looking to buy, sell, or trade any items pertaining to amateur radio. Your net control this evening is K2ZX. My name is Joe. I'm located in North Greece, New York. Break. WR2AHL repeater. Checking into the net, give my call sign K2ZX. Unkey your mic, then give your call sign name and location. I'll take uh, check ins from portables and mobiles first, and I'll get everybody else afterwards. So without further ado, any mobiles or portables for the two meter portion of the Rack City Net, call K2ZX. K2ZX. W2GT. Uh, portable. Doug in Union Springs. K2ZX. KC2GTO Portable. Paul in Ontario. It's in New York tonight. K2ZX. This is AC2QZ in over Portable. K2ZX. Kilo Delta 2, Charlie Tango Zulu, Don, Mobile. Very good. Look at Doug getting there there number one, Doug. Very good. A lot of portables tonight, even though it's the weather is like it is. But W2GT, Doug in Union Springs. KC2GTO, Paul in Ontario. Or, excuse me. Yeah, in Ontario. I'll be okay. Paul out in uh, Masson in there. AC2, uh, AC2QZ, uh, that's Ken and Ovid, and KD2CTZ, Don in the mobile. Any other portable, portables or mobiles come now? Hearing none, uh, we'll take check ins from anyone else anywhere. Everyone's welcome to check into the net. Uh, please call K2ZX. K2ZX. K2WDF, Bill and Wayland. K2ZX. KA2CGV, Brian and Fairport. Uh, K2ZX. WB2KAO, uh, Tim and Greece uh, with traffic. Good evening, Joe. K2ZX. K2JTF, Jeff and North Valley. K2ZX, KB2EAQ, Bob and North Syracuse. K2ZX, KC2ERF, Nelson, Ogden. K2ZX, W3MJH, Mike in Rochester. K2ANX, Jim and Henrietta, and KG2DWS, Dennis and Webster. 
All right, let's go get Tim's traffic here, uh, and then we'll head over and get to Don out in the mobile. Uh, WB2KAO, Tim, good evening. Real good, Joe. WB2KAO, good evening. And uh, just a quick uh, correction, it's K2NAX, November Alpha X-Ray, K2NAX, uh, Jim in Henrietta. Um, a very, very good evening to you, Joe. Uh, just a couple things real quick. Um, excellent time yesterday. The uh, the breakfast uh, out at the Villager in Canandaigua. Uh, food was excellent. Uh, I understand we had 25 of us, and it was uh, it was uh, just uh, outstanding. So uh, uh, very, very nice. And I I just had a a very quick suggestion. I uh, wonder if uh, it would be uh, it would be good to uh, maybe do the uh, the second uh, Saturday in June, as the uh, the Ra Ra Ham Fest is June 3rd at Walnut Hill, and it would uh, it would uh, help with the uh, success of that to have people be able to go out uh, and enjoy that. So uh, just a thought, just a uh, just a possible consideration, uh, just for June that. Uh, Maybe uh, maybe you might, uh, might want to do the second Saturday, and and uh, folks can get out to uh, uh, Walnut Hill for the uh, for the Ham Fest. Um, uh, back to that uh, K2ZX WB2KAO. Everybody have a good week. WB2KAO, uh, very good, Tim. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. And I didn't even realize it, but uh, we'll make plans to uh, to change that. So very good. Thank you for that. We appreciate it. Good to see you out there at the breakfast yesterday. It was a good time. We had a good one. Another good breakfast here for the Rock City Net, and uh, real good turnout. That was uh, that was awesome. And uh, I know a lot of the guys went to the uh, AWA Spring Meet, which is good. And a lot of guys came from there to have breakfast and then went back. So that's a good deal. All worked out well. So it was a good location, and that. Uh, that worked out really, really good. So, <clears throat> thanks, Timmy. Thanks for the suggest, uh, suggestion. We will do that for sure. Let me break with Tim in uh, Greece, and we'll pick up. Uh, let's go get Don in the mobile here, and then we'll go up to the top of the list and get the portables. KD2, CTZ, Don in the mobile. Good evening. Yeah, this is KD2, CTZ, Don here. Good evening, Joe, and everyone on the net. Uh, heading back a little bit later than normal for the weekend, but uh, had some fun. Uh, at the various QSO parties over the weekend, and the uh, the end of this uh, did pretty well uh, in the New England portion of it last night on 75 meters, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, back to you. KD2CTZ in the mobile. Very good, Don. Yep. Um, I did a little bit of the New England. The bands were real good today, but I did a little bit on 40. And I also talked to John, K2YN. I know you guys, a lot of you guys know who John is. And uh, heard him on 40 meters, and uh, we had a nice long rag chew here not too long ago, about an hour ago. And he was talking about the My Antenna, and he's putting one up. So I figured I'd give him a call on one, and uh, he was quite pleased with the signal, and he was coming in well, and uh, he's happy about that. And he's also got an IC7300 that he's really happy with, and I told him... Uh, about uh, you guys, uh, a lot of you guys uh, having the uh, 7300 up in this area. I told him to, to hop in on the Wednesday night uh, net, and he's going to do that and talk a little bit about that 7300, so that was kind of cool. All right, we'll break with, uh, let's break with Don here. Let's get the portables. W2GT, Dugout Union Springs. Uh, good evening, Doug, and good to see you at the breakfast. Yeah, very good, Joe. Very good. Hello. Everybody on the net, great breakfast, very good. Um, good to see everybody. Um, speaking of 70, uh, the uh, the ICOM 7300, I do have a, a uh, it's turned into quite a popular user's uh, Facebook group for the 7300. There is a couple of them, but uh, mine is uh, ICOM 7300 users uh, Facebook group, so. Thought I'd throw that out there while the while the subject's there. I was an early, very early adapter and uh, bought one of the uh, 
uh, it was in the first batch that DX Engineering shipped. So, um, and I love it. Um, speaking of that, I typically take take it portable. Uh, we have an event scheduled for. Uh, uh, I have a pavilion, an open pavilion, um, scheduled for this coming Saturday, the 13th, I think it is, uh, at Gannett Hill. It's pavilion number two which is a fairly small pavilion and one we've never been at. At this point, the weather does not look stellar. They're talking in the 50s and 30% um, uh, chance of rain. Things can change in six days, so let's hope it does a little bit, but uh, we'll keep everybody posted as to what we're going to do. I'm sure it's, uh, there'll be a few of us there at least, but uh, might not be one of our bigger turnouts, I would guess. But... Uh, Details to follow, as they say. Um, other than that, uh, I think that's about all I've got to uh, I've, uh, got to say. That, you know, like a normal um, uh, Gannett Hill gathering, you know, we're, we'll be there fairly early and decide what we're going to do. Put up an antenna um, and uh, just try to make some contacts and uh, talk about it more than anything. Is is kind of the normal the normal event so um, anybody's welcome stop in please and uh, we're doing another one next uh, next month like the 17th of June I think is the date don't hold me to that but it's some somewhere in through there but uh, details to follow uh, K2ZX W2GT yeah W2GT in the group K2ZX very good uh, Doug and I plan on being there I took uh Supposed to be my turn to work that Saturday, but we took care of that, so we'll be out there and look forward to it. Always a good time. Uh, the W2GT group uh, portable is up at Gannett Hill, so it should be fun. Uh, thanks for being here, Doug. Let's go pick up Paul out in uh, in uh, Massadon. Or was it, is it, would it be, no, it'd be Webster, wouldn't it? It'd probably be Webster. Just out there, so. <laughs> it is Webster. K, I think it's Webster, Paul, right? KC2GTO in the, on, in the portable. Or on the portable K2ZX. Good evening. Hey, Joe. Yeah, you had that right originally. It was Ontario because I said Ontario. I'm in Ontario tonight, uh, but from Webster. And thanks for stopping by with the uh, antenna advice. I'll start ordering up the parts and pieces, and then, yeah, I'll probably take your help to get it up in the air. Very good. I think that'll work well. And uh, what's nice with that, too, is uh, you can put something else on the top of that uh, of that as well and just, you know, bring the uh, the transformer for the uh, my antenna down a little bit lower. And then uh, you could put up uh, a whole bunch of different stuff there, even a uh, two-meter uh, dual-band vertical uh, on the top of that and, and so forth. So it'll, it'll be a multi-use kind of thing, and it'll be nice and strong. So that should work pretty good there, Paul. Good to hear you in there. Good to see you at the breakfast. And we appreciate you coming in this evening. Break with KC2GTO. Let's get up uh, and pick up Ken out in Ovid. AC2QZ uh, in the Rock City Net. Uh, good evening, sir. Hello, Joe and everybody else. I just wanted to check in tonight. I haven't checked in in a couple weeks now. Other than that, I'm just staying inside, and I've been watching uh, YouTube videos on uh, magnetic loop antennas all day. Uh, back to you. Kenny, it's a good day to stay in. I was out for a little while and ran a few air, errands and uh, watched the race, actually. Not the whole race, but I was pretty good toward it. And there was a couple cars upside down there, so interesting race there, the NASCAR race. Be watching a little hockey here in a little, a little while. That started about 15 minutes ago, so. Anyhow, very good, Ken. Good to hear you in there. Thanks for joining the net this evening. Uh, I'll break with you. We got down in the mobile. Let's get uh, Bill on Wayland, K2WTS. Uh, good evening, Bill, and how was the EWA meet? K2ZX on the Rock City Net. Good evening, everybody. This is K2WDF, Bill and Whale in New York. Uh, greetings to all. Um, actually, Joe, I didn't. I wasn't able to go to the uh, meet. Uh, I had business to attend to up in Ogdensburg. So first thing Friday morning, we uh, headed for Ogdensburg and got back late yesterday uh, afternoon. So uh, it was uh, quite a 
quite a uh, traveling experience uh, in the rain. It rained all the way up. It rained for the funeral we attended. It rained when we checked into the motel after, and it rained. Well, it did stop for a little while, and then by the time I hit Watertown on the way back, it was more rain. So uh, uh, we haven't done too much around here. Um, got the shack straightened out, got all the whole new setup good and photographed, so i got to get that up on QRZ so I can update that. And uh, started measuring a little bit of wire this afternoon to put up a loop that I got planned. I'm going to put a 160-meter loop up, see how that goes. And that's about it at this end, so I'll give it back to you, Joe. Uh, K2ZX and the group, K2WDF. Okay, Bill, very good. Um, sorry to hear you had to go to a funeral and so forth, but uh, Watertown. I think we're all Watertown here in the, in the, in New York. <laughs> I've never seen anything quite like this rain. I guess they're, they're really having, uh, it's wreaking havoc down uh, down near me up here on the Edgemere Drive. And uh, a lot of flooding going on and so forth. And uh, not good. You know, they're blaming it on that 2014 the thing there with the locks and stuff, but I still think it would flood because of all the... Uh, of the rain and the people in Montreal are even worse. I heard they're getting it really bad up there too. So, anyhow, it's got to stop sooner or later, right? But uh, cutting the grass is going to be interesting with all the mud and stuff out there. It's uh, quite wet. I've never really seen it this uh, this much rain. My rain meter, I think, is uh, gone. Uh, the last 48 hours, we've gotten over uh, an inch, and so far it says. Uh, for the month, four, almost four inches of rain, according to my thing here. I don't know if it's right or not, but that rain gauge is a little weird on this uh, weather station here. But good to hear you in there, and thanks for uh, coming in this evening, Bill. Let me break with you, and we'll get Brian uh, out in Fairport. KA2CGB in the group. Brian, good to see you at the breakfast, and go ahead, sir. Oh, thanks a lot. And... Uh, I'm thinking that you're mentioning the rain. Well, my son reported that uh, January, February, March, no, February, March, and April, they had three feet of rain in uh, Seattle. And uh, that's a new record up their way. So that's an awful lot, too. At least uh, it's a little hillier there, so I think they don't have the issues with... Uh, localized flooding like we're getting and uh, of course they haven't gotten the sea level to rise too much yet that's what we're experiencing up on uh, uh, Lake Ontario premature sea level rise high high at any rate now I had a great time at the breakfast uh, it was really nice to see everybody uh, nice to sit next to some guys and have a good chat and to um, head out from there and then go over to the AWA auction. It was kind of fun. Uh, it was a full day of ham activity, uh, even if the AWA's uh, uh, old radios don't exactly inspire me. There was plenty of other stuff going on there. Yeah, very good, Brian. Uh, yeah, I took a look at the list there. I didn't have, you know, they had some stuff there, but... Uh, I heard it was uh, it was uh, attended well, and I'm glad uh, that was successful for the for the AWA there. But uh, good to hear you in there, and uh, thanks for uh, for checking in this evening. Uh, Timmy already went WB2KAO, so we're over to Jeff out in North Chile, W2GTF in the group. Uh, you're up K2ZX. Hey, good evening, Joe. Everybody on the net. Uh, Joe had a good time at the breakfast yesterday. Thoroughly enjoyed that. And uh, think, uh, speaking of breakfast. Um, Today, I had lunch with uh, K2AWA and KC2EQU before we did a little uh, public service event out in Ogden, out in Spencerport. Um, we might want to think about going to this restaurant called Slayton, and Slayton's, I think it is, in the village of Spencerport. they a um, pretty big place, and they actually have a room, Joe, that uh, you can shut the doors and be all by yourself. So, uh, and it's a pretty big room, too. I was kind of impressed with that, so might be something to uh to look into uh for one of the other breakfasts that we have uh over on the unfashionable west side so but other than that joe just a cold miserable day and uh you know not much going on so i'll, uh, I'll send it back over to you w2jtf thanks joe hey jeff w2jtf in the group k2 of x returning here 
And I looked at that place, and uh, that's like in the, it's kind of like in that little in the plaza there. And that is a big place. We might uh, we might uh, do that. I've looked at that before on that side. So we need to get on the west. I think we'll the next one we'll do on the west side anyhow. So we've been on the east side quite a bit. So uh, maybe we'll head over to. Uh, we'll make a point of uh, probably going there next. So uh, I'll check it out. If they got a room at uh, kind of like the villager. That'd be good. We got our own little separate room in there. So good to see you out there, Jeff. Thanks for coming in this evening. We do appreciate it. I'll break with you, and we'll pick up Bob out in North Syracuse. KD2 EAQ in the two meters of Rock City net. Uh, good evening. Uh, good evening, Joe, and the group. Uh, yeah, this is uh, KD2 EAQ, Bob in North Syracuse. Uh, sounds like everybody had a great time at the breakfast. Uh, sorry I missed that. Uh, a little bit of a distance from maybe one of these days. Uh, yeah, it's a foggy uh, weekend. Uh, of this, and then... Uh, Hopefully, some guys. Uh, I, I got lots of this to do outside uh, yard work and send uh, stuff. Or help my daughter do that. Uh, for my daughters, uh, that'll be a chore. Uh, not much is new with me. Uh, and I, as, uh, I see uh, ICOM 7300. I, I, I love to see uh, it'll be. Something uh, down the line. Uh, for me, nothing rigs or antennas or anything. Good night as usual, Joe. I appreciate it. Uh, in a few minutes, and uh, hopefully that'll keep me entertained. Uh, thanks for doing the KD2 EAQ. Back to you, Joe. Yeah, very good, uh, very good, Bob. KD2 EAQ in the group K2s and X, and you guys can hit your reverses to see where that's coming from. And uh, very good. Uh, good to hear you in there, and uh, hope you like the draft picks for the Giants. I think we got some good ones there. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to the season, starting off in Dallas again this year. So anyhow, thanks, Bob. Good to hear you in there, buddy. I'll break with Bob in North Syracuse, and we're going to go get Nelson out in Ogden, KC2ERF in the group. Good evening. Uh, good evening, Joe, and to each and every one of the operators out there. Joe, this should be uh, the national anthem, row, row your boat, because, man, I tell you what, is it going to ever stop? It's got to. Um, looking forward to that. Got a lot of projects going on out here at the house and put some granite um, siding or um, add granite curbing and <clears throat> been doing uh, so a lot of painting inside the house and, um, yeah, just trying to stay busy. Usually when uh, when we get this kind of rain, we get more time off from uh, from work and construction. Uh, so it gives us a little bit of a chance to uh, get caught up on things here. Uh, but uh, not much going on, Joe. Trust and hope you're doing fine and everybody else out there. Uh, and uh, back to you, uh, Joe, uh, K2ZX, KC2ERF. Yeah, very good, Nelson. Yeah, it'd be nice to, uh, it's always nice to get the wires up before the leaves are on the trees and the buds are there now, so hopefully it'll, <laughs> it'll, uh, it'll stop raining so we could, uh, get that, uh, get our wires up uh, a lot easier that way than when there's leaves on the trees, but I'm okay there. Got one more project left with getting up the, uh, the vertical beam for uh, VHF, UHF up on the roof, so I won't have any issues. With uh, with foliage, so that's good. But uh, good to hear you in there, Nelson. Thanks for being here. We do appreciate it. Uh, before I pick up uh, City Mike, let's see if we have any other check-ins to add to the list. Any other check-ins or rechecks for the two-meter portion of the Rock City net? Please call K2ZX. K2ZX. KD2 KRG Mobile. K2ZX. Kilo Julian 7, Alpha Victor, KJ 7 AV, this time in Chi Lai. KD2 ZX. This is KD2 NAN, Joe in uh, Farmington. KD2 ZX. Um, 
K2KRG Steve out in Bristol, KJ7 Alpha Victor Tom and Chilai, KD2NAN Joe out in Farmington, and K2MTH Mark in the mobile checking in for the numbers. What's going on there, Mark? Good to hear you in there. Let's go back to the list. We're going to grab Mike, W3MJH, City Mike. Good evening and good to see you at the breakfast, buddy. What's going on? Oh, what can I say about the breakfast that everybody else hasn't known to said? I, just a, a wonderful time to get together with everybody. Had a great time. It was, it was, it was a great venue for it. Um, we always liked that place. And um, it was uh, it was really kind of neat. i got to say a little sidelight here. To uh, We moved all the tables around, and we were able to bring uh, Mike, uh, KD2IFF, and his two youngins, uh, into the fold, and, you know, I remember um, when I was a kid, oh, just a little bit older than they were, my dad being really heavy into into a citizen's van, and uh, I used to get to go with him to the, uh, uh, what are they called, Cracker Barrels, and I just thought that made me, that made me feel great to be in, included like that, so thanks to everybody for doing that. Um, I know it made a big, uh, big difference to them. Um, love my T-shirt. I uh, sent a picture of our, uh, our breakfast out to my wife, who is out in Illinois at a wedding, and uh, got some great compliments on the T-shirt. So uh, they are, they are absolutely beautiful. And uh, it's good to hear Marky out there, my uh, my old colleague and uh, and buddy uh, MTH out there. So. Uh, that's it. Uh, with that, I'll hand it back to Net Control W3 MJH. Very good, Mike. That was a good idea to get the tables, or we had to get the mics in there. We had to get Country Mike and City Mike with the kids over uh, into the uh, into the fold there. But uh, that worked out well. I don't know if we put. I think we. I hope we put the tables back. I don't. Re- I was thinking about that today whether we put them back or not, but uh, she did a good job, too. She she was a little overwhelmed, I think, the waitress there, but a uh, little bit more than, she, you know, I, I always tell them 20, but we got, uh, <laughs> and then Mike put on the messenger, I don't think we put the tables back. Oh, well. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Hopefully she she was well taken care of, I think, and uh, that, that uh, worked out real good. Thanks, Mike. Good to have you in here tonight. Uh, we'll break with you, and let's get John out in the Ronicoid, AC2RL. Good to see him there as well. John, good evening, and welcome to the net, sir. AC2RL, 2K2ZX, um, and the net. This is John in Ronicoid. Yeah, I had certainly enjoyed the breakfast. Um, I don't think you should worry about that uh, waitress. Um, she was a pro. She did a great job. Uh, it was great seeing everybody there. I went out to the AWA thing afterwards and didn't buy anything at the auction, but I did buy myself a membership to AWA, so I guess that's something. I'm making plans for my trip to Dayton in a couple of weeks, and you can bet you I'll be wearing my Rock City Net shirt while I'm there. Um, so that's about all I have now, so back to Joe and the Net. This is AC2RL. Well, I'm glad you uh, you went out there and uh, got membership there, and uh, that's that's real nice. That's a nice place to. Uh, I've been out there a few times, and I remember when I was first licensed back in 2007. Uh, they didn't have the new museum that they had. We were in the annex there, and I was like, I walked in there, I was like, wow, that was pretty cool back in the day there. So uh, very good, John. Good to hear you in there, and thanks for joining the net this evening. We do appreciate it. Uh, break with you, and let's get Jim out in Henrietta, K2NAX. Sorry I missed your call up the first time around, Jim, but uh, good evening and welcome uh, to the two-meter portion of the Rock City Net. Hey, good evening, Joe. K2NAX here. Thanks for <coughs> calling me up. i uh long-time uh, amateur, but I've been gone for about six years, so I'm back uh, in town and uh, <coughs> didn't... Uh, leave my QTH, but um, I've been off the air. So just uh, survived a battle with cancer, so I'm uh, taking it easy now. I haven't retired yet, though. 
but Harris bought us, so now i got to get back into radio now that I work for Harris. Anyway, uh, glad the breakfast went well, and I'm going to have to get down to AWA now that they moved the location, now that I'm getting back into it. So back to you, Joe, K2NAX. Nice to hear everybody tonight.
it's very helpful. Uh, you gotta you gotta do a lot of studying. I think you can't just take the class and expect to learn it. But if you put the time in, um, you, you, it definitely helps. And it's the group learning I think makes a big difference. You know, talking to uh, to the other folks, it, it helps a lot. Very cool. Okay, yeah, that'd be great if you get that over to me. I, I appreciate that. That's that's very interesting, and I'm sure a lot of other guys may be interested here too, listening. So. Thanks, Steve. Thanks for the info, man. We appreciate it. Thanks for coming in tonight. And uh, a good deal with that. Uh, let me break with uh, Steve. And how about Tom out in uh, Chile, KJ7 Alpha Victor? Good evening. Evening, Joe. Um, I didn't make it down to AWA auction, as you can tell. I'm a little bit on the sick side. I, mean, I got one of those things where your lungs gurgle when you roll over in bed. And uh, you have to go see a doctor, I guess. But even a little bit better. Anyway. Um, I wanted to remind you about the uh, flying breakfast at the uh, Geneseo's uh, National Warplane Museum on 4th of June. You already got a couple comments about things to do. There's one more for you. We're talking about that. I just wrote that down to remind me as well. Adults are eight dollars and kids are a dollar. Under six are free. They can climb all over the B-17. They won't be flying because the engine needs rework one of the engines, but they'll have the uh, C-47 and some other planes up and flying, and cost of breakfast includes admission to the museum. They've got a huge museum there. It's growing all the time. So again, that's uh, June 4th, Sunday, at uh, Geneseo's National Warplane Museum. Thanks. KJ-7AV. Thanks for reminding me. I wrote that down too, Tom. And uh, that that so you can go right inside that B-17. They let you inside of it. Yeah, yeah. As long as you don't come out with more than you went in with. That'd be cool. I'd like to get. Uh, I'd like to go inside the gunner. The the gunner uh, pod there. <laughs> That'd be cool, especially the one in the back. Like to hop right in there, and uh, that would be neat. But. Uh, that sounds good. We got that written down. We'll, uh, as it gets closer, we'll uh, we'll see how that works. But uh, thanks for being here, Tom. Hope you feel better, man. And uh, we appreciate you coming in here tonight. Let me break with Tom out there in Chile. How about Joe out in Farmington, KD2NAN? Hey, Joe. Good evening, Joe. Good evening, all. <coughs> Excuse me. A little under the wire there. Sorry I couldn't make the uh, breakfast Saturday morning. Had previous commitment. But I heard it went well. Overall weather terrible i just couldn't take it anymore so i had to power wash my deck even under the weather didn't matter now i'm in worse shape so that's about it nothing new going on just uh sit back relaxing and just sitting in that uh web page that gentleman talked about for the uh cw like to get that also appreciate it take over to joe kd to nan stand by recheck very good joe good to hear you in there and we got a recheck go right ahead yeah, this is Tom again, Joe. I just wanted to mention, uh, if there's anybody interested in boat anchors, the old radios, we've got a bunch of them down there we're going to have for sale. And we're also going to have a sale of library books. Uh, the library gets a lot of donated books, and they uh, sell them off to extras at every show they have. So uh, I'll, that's all. Thanks. KJ780. Thanks, Tom. Very good. Thank you for that. And, uh... Yeah, I got to get down there because I, I like. Uh, I've always been an airplane, airplane fanatic kind of. And when I was a kid, I had I don't know how many model airplanes I put together and boats for that matter. You know, World War II ships and carriers and destroyers and I had P forty must. I had the the P forty. I had the P fifty one Mustang, the Lightning twenty eight. I've had a whole bunch of them. Jets, props, you name it. But. Uh, as I got older, I hung them up on a clothesline with firecrackers, you know. You get a little rebellious as you get older, so <laughs> I blew them all up. But uh, anyhow, I wish I kind of didn't do that now, but, you know, back then it's uh, it was kind of cool. But anyhow, uh, Mark was uh, break with you, uh, and uh, let's see here. Mark um, was in and out in the mobile. We are at the bottom of the list. Let's see if we got any other check-ins here. Let's see if we can get some more on the list here. Uh, anyone else? Uh, Rechecks or check-ins for the two-meter portion of the Rock City Net. Call K2ZX. K2ZX. Yeah, K2ZX. Yeah, 
FedEx. This is KC2, EQU Portable in China. KC2, I think at the end. Uh, it's Kilo Charlie 2, Echo Quebec Uniform. That's Justin. How you doing, Justin? Yeah, I just uh, just didn't catch the end of that there, man. Good to hear you in there. Let's see if we got any more, we'll come back to you here shortly. Any others, uh, uh, check-ins or, uh, or uh, rechecks for the uh, Rock City Net call now? Kilo 5, Juliet, Sierra Golf. After. Kilo 5, Juliet, Sierra Golf, and the ending in Oscar, go again. Kilo, Charlie, 2... Lima, Lima, Oscar. Oh, my God. Chuck, how the heck you been, man? Haven't heard you in a while. KC2LLO, wow. A blast from the past. We're going to get you here in a minute, Chuck. Good to hear you in there. Any other check-ins for the Rock City Net call now? In 2 awa Fountain Victor N2 AWA. Let's get Justin in here. KC2 EQU. Good evening, Justin. How are you? Good, good. Just uh, sitting in the backyard, a uh, swampy backyard, cooking dinner, and thought I'd uh, hop in for the numbers. A um, little bit of handwork, you know, like, like uh, Jeff had mentioned, the Westside Club uh, helped out an event along the canal here in Spencerport uh, this afternoon, this cold afternoon, to uh, help with a, uh, a charity that helps uh, with hunger. So, uh, other than that, I just want to check in for the numbers. I'm going to finish cooking at the grill here. KC2 EQ. Yeah, very good, Justin. Well, uh, thanks for doing that. That's, uh, that's a good deal there. It's always good to help out with the community there. And, um, and also, Justin, thanks for, uh, you know, I don't know if you know you guys, but Justin is the one that, uh, that puts up the recordings of the two-meter net, uh, uh, it's also it's on YouTube as well as uh, he posts them on the Facebook page, and that's that's pretty cool. I like that a lot, and I know uh, the other net controllers are uh, liking to hear that too. And, and if you miss one of the nets, you can go back, and I've I've actually done that, and uh, it's nice. It's a it's a real nice uh, thing that you do for the net, and I just want to give you kudos on the net for doing that, Justin. We everyone does appreciate that very much, and uh, good to hear you in there tonight. Let me break with you and. Uh, Let's pick up K5JSG. Uh, good evening and uh, welcome to the net. I don't recognize the call, but name and location would be great. And uh, thanks for being uh, on the net this evening. Uh, this is Jeremy over in Penfield. And I moved here to Rochester area uh, back in December. So this is actually the first time checking in. Welcome to the area there, Jeremy. And... Uh, Good to have you aboard here on the two-meter side, and uh, also if you do HF, we do, like I said earlier, we have a uh, Wednesday uh, HF net on 75 meters on 3826 if you're interested. Yeah, unfortunately money is a little tight at the moment, and I don't have an HF rig, um, but that is in the works. Um, I know what, what rig I want to put up and get going, but just don't have it at the moment. Uh, very good. Well, if you need any help, we're all here to help. That's uh, what this is all about here. So uh, if you uh, if you need any help with the antenna or something, just give a shout here on the net, and you'll have uh, a whole bunch of people over to help you out. So we appreciate you coming uh, coming in. Where'd you where, uh, five land? Where where'd you uh, where, where'd you originally? You know, where where are you from? Well, the wife, who's K five S E G. Um, She's actually from this area, but I'm actually from Southern California. And unfortunately, we had to come back here um, to help take care of my mother-in-law, who's not doing too terribly well. And uh, our plan was not to move here, but actually to Texas. But family comes first, and we're here. Okay, very good. Very good, Jeremy. Um, well, welcome to the area, and like I said, if you need uh, if you need help uh, along the way, just give us a holler here, and uh, I'm sure you'll have uh, a lot of people uh, help you out if you need any. Thanks for coming in, and we appreciate you checking in here this evening. Let me break with you, and let's go pick up Chuck. Casey, 2 L L O. Good evening. 
K2QZR, good to hear from you again. Uh, I don't want to, you know, you're running a net, and I don't want to hold it up, but I'm just listening. Change the call sign there, Chuck, K2ZX. Oh, you changed it. Very good, Joseph. And, uh, boy, I miss you. It's good to hear you in there. I know you, geez, what's it been, about a year? Yeah, it's been about a year, um, and uh, let's let some of the other callers come in. I'm not running in the net, you are, but I do miss you, Joseph. All right, Chuck, we'll move on here. Good to have you in here, and uh, thanks for checking in this evening. Uh, let me break with KC2LOO, and let's get Jeff out and Victor, N2AWA in the group. K2ZX, good evening. N2AWA, yeah. Um I remember building uh, a couple of models of ships, uh, battleships, a carrier with my dad on the kitchen table there. That was kind of kind of a nice memory. And I had a 1940 Ford coupe that had many layers of paint. I think the final layer was a dark. It, it ended up looking like a dark purple. And I believe um, I poured lighter fluid on that and, um, you know, Forced it in the garage, if memory uh, serves me correctly. Speaking of the airplanes tonight, um, a model and, and you know full scale and and uh, you know uh, miniature, I guess that always intrigued me was the uh, ME262 Messerschmitt. Um, I, it may be with all these airplane people on the net. Uh, maybe they could correct me. It might have been the first jet uh, engine plane. Looks like it has two. You know, it has two jet engines. <clears throat> first flew in 1941, and then of course it, its uh, life was cut short in 1945 when the conflict ended. But it's a pretty cool-looking machine. If you've never seen one, I saw one at the uh, York Toy Show a few years ago, which was kind of large, maybe like a foot long, maybe maybe uh, a foot and a half long, pretty decent scale. And it was missing something like a wheel or something and I and I passed it up and uh, I always I thought, gee, that was it was pretty cool. You could have put it you could have hung it up and maybe put the side where, where the wheel was missing on the uh area where you couldn't see it. <clears throat> but uh, anyways, that's it for me. N two A W A. How you doing, Joe? Yeah, very good, Jeff. I know that plane well. It had uh, machine guns in the nose. And had that thing, had they been able to get enough fuel in it, the range is what hurt that because they could, couldn't stay up in the air that long. And it was toward the end of the uh, the war. That would have made a difference had they come out with that a little earlier. But uh, thank God it didn't. And um, they just didn't have it. It couldn't stay up long. That was the, uh, the issue with that thing. But that was a... Uh, that could have been a game breaker. And now that you mention it, uh, let me see if I've got it here. Yeah, I think it was like way faster than anything else out there, so it was kind of in a different league. Yeah, you're right. Uh, it's, it's kind of a good thing that its its life was cut short in many ways. Um, yeah, interesting on the on the fuel supply there. Real good. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, Bad looking plane there. And uh, hello to uh, uh, Chuck. Man, I haven't heard his uh, call sign. I was like, that sounds familiar. What happens to these people? Well, anyways, um, we'll we'll talk to you later. And good evening to the net and to A W A. W R two A H L repeater. Yeah, very good. We didn't have nothing. You know, I think our fastest plane was probably the P fifty one Mustang. And then uh, the Spitfire probably was uh, English, England's uh, fastest plane, but that uh, that Messerschmitt was uh, <laughs> was in a league of its own back then. They had a lot of stuff like that. You know, they were well ahead uh, technology-wise, but they just couldn't. Uh, it was uh, they were on their way out, you know. So uh, kind of a good thing, like we said there earlier. But very good, good, good hearing in there, Jeff. Thanks for coming in this evening. We do appreciate it. Uh, we're at number 22 there, and. Let's give another call out to see if we got any other check-ins or rechecks for the net. Call K2ZX. Hello, Jeff. This is Joe. Last call going once, going twice. How, 
any other check-ins or rechecks for the net before we close the uh, net down? If you just want to get in for the numbers, uh, don't be afraid to uh, throw out your call sign there. Call K2ZX. K2ZX, uh, KC2, LLO. At KC2, LLO with a recheck. Go ahead, Chuck. It's good to hear from you, Joseph. And... Uh, you wouldn't believe what I'm doing with my uh, two-meter rig. I'm polarizing it with the antenna, and uh, it's not that complicated. Are you in the mobile truck, or are you in a base? I'm actually in the house. Okay. Are you still in a Webster? Yeah, I have two houses now. My brother passed away, and... Um, so I'm taking care of all the, you know, the necessary things. Um, I still have my pilot's license, too. Sorry to hear about your brother there, but uh, very good, Chuck. Um, very good to hear you in there, and that's been a while. So anyhow, well, uh, let me break with you. I guess uh, we are at the end of the net here, so we'll close it down this evening. Uh, thanks to... Uh, to all 22 stations who checked in this evening, we do appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to join the 75-meter portion of the Rock City Net every Wednesday here on, at 8 o'clock on 3826. I'd also like to thank uh, Mike, W2HYP, for letting us use the repeater tonight. And everybody uh, back to work tomorrow, and hopefully you have a, hopefully it dries out, man, you know, and hopefully uh, everyone has a great week ahead here. So uh, with that, we'll, uh, we'll shut her down for this evening, and I'll turn the repeater back to normal operation. And uh, we'll say 73 to all. This is K2ZX closing the net for the evening. And 73, guys, we'll catch you later. K2ZX.